translating from business to military, I can't expect everyone to have the, I'm going to jump on a grenade, right. you know, like mentality. Some people just don't, they don't care about it enough. What I think is great about what you're doing with five paragraph is if we can have that sense of loyalty and that sense of dedication to each other in a life or death uh, situation to where we're making that commitment to, to, to die for the person to our left or right. And that communication works, but it also works in a business setting where people would rather stab each other to, to, to <laughs> kind of move up. So sometimes if it works, like that. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter as long as it works and it accomplishes the mission, then I think that can be the bridge of communication that helps facilitate the two. And for transitioning veterans, I'm always looking down the road as well. For transitioning veterans, that one little thing, if they come into an organization and that becomes a common practice where they're like, yeah, we do five paragraph here, they can be like, wait, what? <laughs> right. You do. Awesome. Like that can be such a big relief from all the, the tension that it takes for them to adapt into the, to the civilian, uh, uh, into the civilian world. So I think there's a, a level of brilliance to it. Um, frameworks always help because it kind of fills the gap where people sometimes they, they don't have the capacity to think super big picture, but they can get from point A to point B. Uh, and, and as they get that momentum, then later it can turn into bigger vision and, and bigger execution. Well, there you go. Nailed it. <laughs> hey, we're talking with Dave Berlin. Go to Dave Means, means Business.com. Dave Means Business.com. Check that out right now to get the full backstory, the full Monty, the full scoop. All right, Dave is also, he's a fellow Marine, he's a veteran, he's a business leader. He's engaged in business development, sales, marketing, and leadership. It's based on relationships. And relationships have to be based on reciprocity, right? right? I add value to you, you add value to me, and so on and so on and so on and so on. And it can, it can matriculate all the way down to the lowest ranks inside of an organization, mm -hmm. right? Because relationships are, are the lifeblood inside of an organization. The employee who sweeps up in the middle of the night is having a relationship, whether they like it or not, with the overall organization that they are a part of. And I hope that they're going there with the best of intentions to be able to add value to people, which is hugely critical, right? Because how else do you get that mission buy-in? You know, when you're out right. in the middle of 29 Palms, let's say, for instance, and you're sucking sand and you're waiting for a helicopter to get out of your airspace so that you can keep blowing stuff up, how do you keep sane in that moment? I was a mortarman by trade. We used to play spades every once in a while, right? Stuff like that. But that's building our relationship. Yeah. You know, when I talk with my A-gunner about what's going on back home, he, by the way, was from uh, Shawnee, Oklahoma. There it is. Nice. Right? Uh, right? Another Oklahoman. He always used yeah. to be like, you know who's from Shawnee, Brad Pitt? I'm like, I don't care. Man. <laughs> <laughs> he would say stuff like, checkmate, king me. I'm like, that, yeah. boom, that's two different. Whatever, man. All right, whatever. Go find us. Well, what's, what's funny about that is you talk about transition. Well, how many people are in transition right now? Mm -hmm. Right? How many people are in transition right now? And guess what? It's the relationships that they've made in the past. I remember whenever I was getting out and I got out in 2003 before things got really intense. But I knew that there was about seven places, seven cities where I can make a phone call and I would have an opportunity, a place to live and food, food on my plate overnight. If anything ever happened, and that came from the, the camaraderie that we had from the military. Yes. Well, now look at all the people that are in transition. All the people that aren't passing out the same business card as they were a couple of weeks ago. Um, I, I think it was Maya Angelou that said, people won't remember what you said. They won't remember what you did, but they'll always remember how you made them feel. Yeah. There's, a, there's a really defined line right now where some companies are innovating and growing at rapid rates that they never could have before. They need people. There's, a, there's an uh, uh, out of work, workforce that are all in transition right now right but for the people that are on those people that are on those teams that are growing do you think that they're going to call on the people that like every time they saw them in an event they tried to sell them or, or you know try to push them into a corner and make them buy something or go to their thing no they're gonna they're gonna connect with and say oh i remember i remember dave dave never asked anything of me but he was always on the hustle he was always out connecting he was always out grinding 
And that's why in just a couple of days, I had a lot of people reaching out saying, hey, what are you working on right now? Um, you know, hey, we had this big pivot and maybe you can help. Um, and, and those were people that even the role that I was in four or five years ago, I was in a role of selling, but I didn't make every transaction about that. So it's, it's about investing in those relationships because a dormant relationship, you know, 10 years later, it, 10 years ago, it didn't make any sense at all. There's no way we would have, ever work together. It just wouldn't fit. But 10 years later, we're all in a very different world now. And, you know, some of those people that I'm reconnecting with are people that are, you know, innovating on a massive scale that, that need more people like you, like me. And, and how do I connect the dots and, and help everybody, um, you know, fulfill their mission? Uh, and it, again, it all ties back to mine. And along the way, I get to help, help veterans uh, figure out what the hell they're doing.